Have you heard about you, Ping Chen? <sighs> I have. I have. Have you guys all heard about you, Ping Chen? Do I have to break the news to anybody? He's gone. Well, he's not gone. He's not dead, you know, he's gonna make his own music. But he has parted ways with Hoyo. The music archon, actually though. I, I, have, I do not blame him at all. And I'm happy for him. I am excited to hear whatever music he makes on his own. Un unhindered, you know? But yeah, it's sad to lose him in the future of Genshin, you know? Why did he leave? I don't know. I don't know. I, I couldn't tell you, but I have mixed feelings because I anyone who is able to like leave a corporate setting and do their own thing, I feel like that's usually for their best in, in their best interest. So we will be waiting for Yu Peng Chen's first like music music drop. We will be waiting and we will be listening. Yeah, I didn't. I, it's interesting that they didn't announce it until after they didn't announce it until after Fontaine released. It's cool. It's cool that he's able to like he has he has been he's so loved and so appreciated in the Hoyo community in like the Genshin player base especially so I'm happy for him that he's like reached a point where he can go off and do his own thing yeah super happy for him yeah they definitely intentionally uh announced it after Fontaine released because Fontaine is the first region that doesn't have he was not in charge of the music so I think they wanted to like mitigate the um you know, oh, Hoyo Mix is is lost without you, Peng Chen. But clearly, that's not true. Cause I've really enjoyed the music from from Fontaine at least so far. What was that about Fontaine though? Yeah, Fontaine was not composed with you, Peng Chen. See, I think they wanted to, they wanted to um be like, see, we did it without him. <laughs> we'll be okay. I mean, Hoyo Mix makes lots of stuff that is not directly in in, in collaboration with you, Peng Chen. So it'll be okay. Yeah, if you didn't know, Coke Zero that's Frog the news. Says, I, I keep hearing people saying that they could tell something was different in Fontaine, or like they didn't feel the same magic, and I'm like, I don't know if I believe you. I don't know if I believe you. I kind of feel like you just want to be a contrarian. Be like, I knew, I knew it. Maybe some people are being genuine, but I feel like the people who are like, oh yeah, yeah, I could totally tell. I could totally tell it wasn't the same. <laughs> I am, I'm like, did you? Did you though? In your heart of hearts, it's like, did you really know that something was different? <laughs> I don't know if I believe you. Yeah, I, I couldn't tell, but I'm also, I'm not a music professional, so I should at least say that part. It's different. I mean, Fon Simura was like insane. I don't know, it's also just a different style. So I feel like some people might be like, it's not, the Fontaine music might not be their style, but it doesn't mean it's better, worse. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not knowledgeable enough to like claim to have noticed any difference. Fontaine's definitely different, but I think it's because of the nation itself. Yeah, we're hearing like the biggest difference I noticed was the underwater music. Like, I feel like it was a different vibe than most. It was like, it almost felt like less traditional, a little bit like Spanish influence, but that could totally just be a style thing. Orchestral and classical musics are winning with Fontaine OST for real. <laughs>